okay, bear with bear with me here. All right, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try and paint a picture that may or may not make sense. <laughs> so like when you're learning something, right? You 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 you're kind of building up this sort of map in your head or whatever, and you have like these these dots in your head of different like things, different concepts. Some of these dots might start to connect as as you kind of connect the concepts, um, but it. it it feels very heavy. It feels like there's a lot you have to remember. If this whole structure feels very brittle, that like it it can it can break at any moment, and like it's really heavy, and you're you're kind of trying to hold this up, all these definitions, these concepts, how they link together, and stuff like that. That's like when you don't understand something, but when you do understand something, it's almost as if it's almost as if there the structure actually isn't there. It's it, you know. I feel I feel like the the process of understanding something is like building up this sort of this kind of crazy you know thing in your head with like all these parts and it's really heavy and stuff and then at the point where you understand it the thing just vanishes and you can you can just like conjure it up in whatever way or form you want uh, as as you need to and I I think it really does feel like that when you really understand something because all the kind of weight and the mental burden of of trying to store this thing in your head just disappears because it is now just there in your, you know, in your mental models and whatever you want to call it. It's just there somewhere and you can recall it in whatever form you need. Um, so the, mm. almost like when you're learning a language, you're struggling to remember the stuff, but then once you've, once you've learned the language, it's like, you know, you and I don't have any sort of... Uh, constructs for english grammar anymore or right like, yeah what, yeah, what yeah. does nominative and accusative and declarative case even mean yeah like, who cares just, just <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. You, you're just doing the talking like you, you don't, you're not like intentionally conjugating the verb okay run is like this kind of verb and the yeah. rule is like i run you run he ran you know this kind of stuff actually like so for, for a friend of mine who are like super good at music see music in this sort of sense where i'm still thinking i i i vaguely understand some musical theory yeah and so if i as, as long as i'm playing the piano in the scale of d i can fairly you know comfortably do stuff with my fingers and like things will be all right yeah um but then you know i i i see some of my friends from university and the stuff that they can do on a piano and i'm like I just, how how are you doing that yeah and it it, it they just have such an understanding of it yeah it, it doesn't even matter what keys they're pressing right <laughs> they, yeah. they just know what's going on yeah yeah yeah, it's just like a completely different representation in the head.